Hey everybody, and a welcome to another episode of Call to Arms Mods with the War of the Worlds mod. In the previous videos, we of course had the US Army take on the tripods, the German Army, the United Arab Forces, and today we are going to see how the Russians are going to handle the tripods. This is the last of the countries that is actually represented in the game. There are other countries that can be added with mods. We might actually be able to uh, take a look if the mods are compatible with, with the uh, War of the Worlds mod. Uh, we might actually see more countries take them on, but for now this is the last country. Though in upcoming videos I want to combine these different countries to see how, you know, a united earth stands against the tripods. But I also have some other cool ideas. Uh, maybe, and I'll give a hint, what if, for example, uh, the forces of earth are actually able to, for example, capture tripod and convert it. Or, you know, if for story purposes there's another, um, you know, faction of tripods who are actually coming to earth to help the... Uh, the humans against the tripods so that might actually give you a little bit of a hint of what I'm planning for the upcoming videos anyway without further ado let's see how the Russians are taking on the tripods all right here we start immediately the battle has begun this is a fairly small map uh, there weren't too many maps available um, in call to arms that had a sort of like a Russian look to it and an issue is, and I don't know if it has to do with the mod or the game itself, but a lot of maps will make the game crash if I try to mix scenarios in it. Oh my goodness. Infantry is immediately taking heavy casualties. But pretty much all of the tanks on the map are in the firing distance of the units. Even though the map itself might not be big, our uh, front line is pretty wide. I don't know where that guy shot that grenade, but... Oh, I forgot. So there are chickens on this map, and the, the AI thinks as the chicken as enemies too, so they will fire at the chickens. <laughs> it's a little stupid. The tanks that we are using at the moment, by the way, are T-72s. Oh, the shield is down. That's actually not the strongest tanks available for the Russians. They go all the way up to T-90s, but you can see here we were able to take it down fairly easily with still four tanks uh, in fighting condition. Might actually be more. A lot more, actually. Look at this. So yeah, as expected, because of course in the previous video with the United Arab Forces, they were not able to dent even a single tripod, so it feels good again to get a victory for the humans. Uh, and let's try this battle again with one more tripod. Uh, I am also going to add a few more tanks, because we, up until now we've always seen that adding another tripod is absolutely disastrous for the humans. So let's see how the Russians do against two invading enemies. All right, here we are now controlling one of the tanks. As you can see, I added another tripod. And let's get one shot in before we head closer as the main gun reloads. Because the map is so small, I actually don't have to get all the way close up to it. But I want to get at a distance to where my AI machine gunner will automatically fire on it as well. That way I don't have to switch manually. Ugh, his whole squad was wiped out. I'm actually now taking manual control of the machine gunner. Ah, I might be at an angle where... I might not be able to shoot it. Again, it's always ha a very big handicap to have two of the tripods so close to each other because the AI is simply not able to divide the forces properly. 
You would think that my machine gun AI would attack by now, but it's not. Even though it is in range, so that's very weird. I think I just lost my machine gunner. Or it actually went up inside the tank again. Oh, there he is. I think my track is damaged. I'm not able to move. Okay, from the right, units are approaching. We are losing tanks left and right here. This is not good. Though, pretty expected. Of course, after this, we're going to end the video with a battle during the night, but instead of adding the um, normal amount of tanks to it, because I can see that going the same as all the other battles, I'm going to add a lot more. Maybe I'm actually only going to add more tanks instead of tanks and infantry to compensate a little bit for the lag. Actually, on the left flank, there's a lot of tanks still operational. Look at this. A whole line. No, no, actually, I cannot control this. The turret is damaged. I spoke too soon. Yeah, okay. Tanks are disabled. Alright, people. So, let's actually do this again. Uh, this time at night. But, as I said, I'm going to add a lot more tanks. I'm not entirely sure how many. I mean, not too many. To uh, avoid too much lag. But, uh, a lot more than what we have now. It probably will be very uh, cropped up with uh, the tanks clustered all like that together. Alright, here we are. As you can see, it's not actually night, but I found this skybox with the sun in that direction, and I thought it was actually, uh, very pretty with the, uh, the silhouettes of the, uh, tripods over there. So, we're going to do, uh, a sunset battle, I suppose. As you can see, it's a little bit more laggy. I added, uh, six more tanks. Three on each side. Hopefully, that will do a little bit more. Again, it's not a huge difference, but don't forget, six extra shots. It can be pretty huge. I mean, I added four tanks in the second battle as well, so we have like ten more tanks in total than the initial battle what we did with one tripod. So, that does make a significant difference. But, then again, <laughs> as they uh, shoot our tanks to smithereens, we hope we can last a little longer. Okay, there we go. Just got killed how we're looking on the left side. Let's actually take control of one of them. Man, how quickly they take out those squads of infantry. It's unbelievable. There we go. Shots fired. Not too sure what that tank is doing. Just gonna pour it on him. Machine guns are firing as well. I love that look of all of the uh, shots being fired at the uh, the tripod from the directions. Come on, there we go. If we can just take down its shield, like we're pouring hard on this one. It's actually moving. Seems to me like the one on the right is not taking that much punishment. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes wrong. Taking damage. It's another tank blown up. Oh, 
it's difficult to see through smoke. But the smoke might be uh, actually advantageous to me. I create a smoke screen. Oh, the other tripod is now also chiming in. Probably all the units there died. Yep, there I go. And we lost all our tanks. Again, as always, not able to dent two tripods. Really what you need for the two tripods is, well, first you need a bigger map to uh, battle the lag. But, um, you know, we've seen before that if you do tanks only, they can take out two tripods and even three tripods. So uh, we'll see what we do there. I might actually, for like every tank, only do like five infantry. So just have a lot less infantry, but still have a bit of infantry on the battle. Because I do always like that combat assault sort of feeling. You know, having only tanks is a little bit boring, although maybe more realistic when we actually have uh, tripods attacking. Anyway, guys, that was it for today's video. We've now shifted through all of the countries that are available in the game. And, uh, like I said, I have some more plans for some future content with the War of the Worlds mod. If you know any cool scenarios or suggestions that we can do with this mod in this game, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.